Me and Drizzy back to back, it's getting scary. If you fucking with my eyes, just don't come near me. Put some bins all on your head like Jason Terry. You already know, you already know the Phase Out View podcast, the Phase Out View podcast, it's man. It. Episode, episode 297, 297, man. Hey, special ghost host with me, man. My brother right here, man. Denzel in the building, man. Oh, hey, good. we got we got a good one today, man. Co-host, you in the building, my brother. You already know, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe at the Phase Out View podcast, man. So we're going to get right into it, man. House party, the road to 300. We almost there, man. Make sure you continue like, share, and subscribe, all right? So let's get into the agenda, fellas. All right. In honor of Halloween coming soon, which type of horror film all right, are you is your favorite for real? And we want to list the top three Halloween movies. All right. We're gonna brainstorm on that one. All right. And moving forward, man. Hey, 50 Cent Son talks about how he will only receive 6700 a month in child support, stating it wasn't enough, man. I want to hear y'all thoughts on that, man. All right. And the new house party, man, released is exactly produced by LeBron James, man. For real, I want to know which is the best house party. I'm a big house party fan. All right? So, subscribers Q&A, man. Subscribers Q&A. If you could only know the absolute and total truth about one question, what would you ask? All right? That's going to be the tough one. All right? And lastly, the infamous, would you rather? All right? Would you rather all right, have your debt forgiven or have good health for a decade? All right? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. All right. First and foremost, let's get in right into it, man. On the agenda, man. Denzel Hugh. Man, it's, it's it's Halloween time for real, for real. A lot of people celebrate. A lot of people don't. But for real, for real, I, ce I celebrate Halloween. I like it. You feel me? I like the fun, the horror, all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, which type of horror film is your favorite, bro? Like, first off, what's, what's, what's the best horror film? The best? The best? Your best horror film. Or... or I would say your favorite and the best, but it's all opinionated, for real. I feel like the one I'm most familiar with, or like, I can't even say it's the best, but the one I'm most familiar with got to be Scream, if anything. Oh, that's a, that's Scream, a classic. Scream was nah, always classic. classic. Scream was classic. That's a, that's a classic. And it's a Halloween movie, for real, for real. Yeah. I, bro, I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm up to the modern day. I, I ain't going to lie. I like the Insidious franchise. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I Insidious, oh, Insidious, Fra Insidious franchise was actually tough, because the storyline is actually tough, bro. Like it's scary. Nah, that's a I different type of scary one. too. Yeah. You only seen the first one? Nah. Yeah, I don't really watch. I don't really watch horror stuff like that because I don't get scared. Like I don't. It takes right. a lot for me to jump. There's, there's no general scariness in the movies. But um, for me, I'm more of a uh, I'm more of a monster. Fix the creatures have a guy. Like I love Jaws. I love Lake Placid with the freaking uh giant crocodiles. Mm -hmm. You like that's the throwback jump. Yeah, yeah, but not. No, I'm just saying like I like stuff like that. But like those type of movies today usually tend to be like really cheap. And, that's fact. and yeah, corny, that's so I don't fact. watch them. So I always end up watching the old school stuff. Yeah, I know the new stuff I thought, it. You know what horror movie I thought was? Not even a horror movie, but a movie I thought was real for the long Oh, wait. Paranormal no. Activity, bro. bro. Oh, I, thought, I ain't gonna lie. Like, when it first came out, they had me sold, bro. They had me sold when it first came out, nah, bro. But the last, no, but the last, the last joint I saw that was like supposedly a monster joint was... Uh, it was something... I forgot who was in it or what it was called. It was an alligator joint. But it was like... Um, she was like on a swim team at college and like a hurricane was coming mm -hmm. so she was coming back to get her dad but then the house flooded and he was stuck in the basement and there were alligators yeah, okay. underneath that joint and then the house flooded and they had to find their way out me and my mother were in that joint watching like my, my mother was in that joint freaking out she don't like stuff but like that, that. And that's, but and i love that movie was really that's good that's like that's like sister what's i knew the name too. yeah i so, saw yeah i'm i'm like i'm like that but um i don't know about all time but uh i've always i, I enjoyed get out Oh, yeah, I definitely yeah, enjoy yeah. it. I didn't enjoy. Unfortunately, I didn't enjoy. Um, done. I mean, no, nope, nobody like that. knew you about to say that. But yeah, I, I enjoyed Get Out. Us was cool. I, I think. I think in the modern day times, it might be The Conjuring if it's the best horror movie. One of like if if I'm talking about just from yeah. top to bottom, and also you know they had the spin off on Annabelle and stuff. I'm talking about just genuinely scary. Yeah. I, I the might, Exorcist I might was that. terrible. Like, I, yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Now, my but uh, I don't know if this is a horror film, but it had like legendary horror like figures in it. But I was all, I always loved Van Helsing, Van Helsing. Hugh Jackman. Yeah, I know what you're talking that's, about. I don't know if that's considered a horror, more like an action adventure. But it had like it had Frankenstein, Dracula, mm -hmm. the werewolf, all the that. Was in it. The real character yeah. behind it. But speaking of horror, no, 
So I gotta take it back because I'm rewatching now. Teen Wolf to me is a top ten show. Teen Wolf. Yes. Teen you never seen Teen Wolf? I, it I came out. Fan of Teen Wolf Bruh, Teen Wolf was Teen Wolf was so fire. Especially if you were into like suspense and horror and special effects. They had all that stuff. Like they had all those creepy moments with you like Teen Wolf remind me of like Twilight Teen... and stuff. I was not. No, that, hell. That's hell. what it remind me of. I, I ain't know. never watched neither like that. No, Teen Wolf was fire. Like I'm rewatching now for like the third time now. Team, I mean, when I first came out of high school, but like I only bring it up because it was it had all of those things in it. Like, so what's y'all top three Halloween movies? Cause that's that's a different Halloween. combo. Halloween movies. I feel like you can't go wrong with scary movie too. Like that movie, it's just a nah, scary movie. Scary movie too. Is, that's a classic. Scary movie too is hilarious. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that's a classic. They gotta go in there, bro. They gotta go in there. Mine okay. was Freddy vs Jason. Like when the one of the first ones, when the bro Freddy vs Jason, Jason, one of the first ones. Them jokes was tough. I don't know. If, uh, I don't know if Predator counts because Predator. Pre- the Predator movies always came out around that time, and Predator. it was Alien versus Predator. Yeah, but, but I was no, always I the, the most Alien recent. And the most recent one was really good. But I'm more. I like the one. I like the one that was like from 2010. Where, I know what um, you're talking about. Where they got stuck on the actual planet. Like he didn't come to Earth. They mm-hmm. they brought them to the planet, and Lawrence Fishburne was in that joint. Yeah, yeah Predator was always good. So one of the Predator movies. And you can't go wrong with. Uh, uh, obviously, Halloween. You feel me? Yeah. Like, literally, even though they make a thousand of them a year. Now I, I got to throw it in there. Not the original though. The original was cool. But I, like, I like. The, I like the, wow. I like the new. I like the newer that, one. That the new part two. The part two was forced. But the first one. The first one they did. The remake. I really liked that one. That one was like. Okay. The concept behind that, bro, be having me sick, bro. I remember watching it. I remember. I, do well I remember rewatching the first one. I was like, "This is the joint that man." I, I heard the clowns. I just I don't was do like, well. they just, yeah." No, but I remember. Um. Cause I've seen the thing. I never saw the most recent, the remake, but I saw the original, and um, that was actually the first date my father took my mother on. When back when they used to have Landover Mall, back when that existed, he took her to see that in Landover Mall, and he said she ran out of the joint screaming. Yeah, nah, that joke. <laughs> somehow, some somehow it, it still yeah, worked you know out what? clearly. You know but what? yeah, you know what movie I always thought was real and just always the set, bro, Candyman for the longest time. That, yo, Candyman, I'm, 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 I'm bugging. Know, I'm bugging, yo. Candyman, that was when I recently saw. That was really good. Even to my childhood, and that now, was Jordan Peele as well. And shout out to Candyman. shout out to that director because she's yeah, a female. Jordan Peele was involved. That was really good. I'm bugging out. Yeah, I haven't seen the original. The new one. I heard the original is really good. I've never seen the original. I've seen the original too. But the new one was actually good. No, the new one was like that. The new one was really like that. But it's just like, bro, nah. That, that, I forgot. I don't know Cuz's name, bro. but um, Dude, I'm great off of that. I don't know Cuz's name, but you have you ever seen? Did you see Ambulance when it came out? Mm-hmm. The movie Ambulance. Oh, yeah. Ambulance Five. Ambulance, Ambulance Five. Ambulance but I'm saying, but yeah, he was in that. Oh yeah, I know you're talking. He about. was. He was the guy. Yeah, you talking about the actor? Yeah. yeah, I know you're talking about. Definitely check that. But that was some good ones, bro. Yeah, well, I forgot. I was bugging. I forgot. Yeah, I I did see that Candyman was really good. That one was like that. That was probably one of the top movies that came out that year. Yeah, I'm like that this year or last year. I think that was either that was, that was like probably 2018. That was last year. It was definitely 2021. Dang, was it? Yes, no, was it? Yes, it was. I remember because um, I remember because me and um, Dang, like my people it? from the coppers were hanging out a lot that year. Oh, it probably. And was, I remember, uh, you know, I remember taking a couple of us. Right. But yeah. Honestly, uh, all the years since like and the reason why I remember because there was a like, giant, there was a giant, like, there was a giant rainstorm that came through. I remember driving through that joint to meet up with my uh, my coworkers to go watch it in Springfield. And I remember the Lightning Force came out that like that weekend because I was trying to get them, and that was definitely last year. That's why I remember. Oh yeah, <laughs> so you already know. Say, sure Shoot, you never, you never, forget right, never forget them. Jumps. <laughs> never forget them. All right, we're moving forward. Moving forward, man. A good topic I wanted to discuss and talk about amongst brothers. All right, Fifty Cent son talks about he only received man six thousand eight hundred a month in child support, stating it wasn't enough, bro. Like my thoughts on it instantly, bro. It's just like. First of all, it's a family matter, so it hits home. You see, you see him as even though he's 25, he's still his child. You know what I'm saying? Some trauma behind that, and then 50, you know, feeling some type of way because his son and his actions and how he's and how he's been depicted as a father is not it's not cool. So when we see this, I just don't feel like it's cool. But if I'm gonna speak on it, bro, if I'm being quite honest, I feel like that they should mend their relationship. But also, I can see. How fifty could be upset too. Yeah. I'm as a, as a father because also, first of all, you're twenty, you're twenty five. He's been supporting you sixty sixty seven hundred dollars a month. It's people's bro, it's eighty eight years, bro. Oh, that's eight, that's eighty years. plus a year. That could be six to seven figures, depending. And one one thing that wasn't in context, I want to add context to it, was that the mother of the child of fifty cent, um, and his mother, 
was receiving twenty uh was receiving twenty five a month and, and she tried to get more. And she tried to get more. That's and how they ended up getting less. And that's why he ended up getting less. So think about it. At first he was paying twenty five K until you know the other part. So I'm just saying and not to just look on both sides and, and, and paint a picture on either side. But you have you have a it feel like you have another parent swaying an opinion of a swaying of swaying the view of his father based off of her, you know, her viewing and her experiences with him, with 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. And that's where it messes everything up. Because he's showing a disdain for 50, but a lot of the core issues and stuff is probably within the home in which he's not in because probably of that, that relationship that they didn't mend. Mm -hmm. So it's like, bro, you know, I don't like hearing this stuff, but I'm like, he wildin', bro. He bugging. Um, he bugging, bro. Complain about 6,700 people don't make that shit, year or bro. lifetime. I get six or seven hundred a month, bro. I'm, I'm good. Like straight, bro. Like off oh, someone else's dollar. Off too. somebody else's dollar. That's not including money you be making yourself too. Like you make, like you still be working, making your own. Exactly. Career. Like, I mean, it's it's a hard situation because it's not like our direct family, so like we can't really have too much like voice and thought or paying on it. But like at the end of the day, I feel like the right thing they should do is just like like, like you said, mend a relationship because. Mm -hmm. I feel like not many relationships within families that just lead to more problems down the road. I, I agree. Yeah. Plus, family does like I don't know why people be wanting to throw their family away, bro. It's like you only get one family, y'all. That's true. I'm That's beginning, true. bro. I don't know the full details on Fifty and um his son's um relationship. I know they've been going back and forth for a long for time. Minute, right. But I know the last straw for Fifty was um. Was him taking a him taking a picture with Supreme yeah, with son? Supreme, yeah. and Supreme was a guy that did, literally tried to kill Fifty. Yeah. You know, you do stuff like that. Correct. Sends a yeah. sends a pretty okay, big okay. message. So it's like and, pretty, and, and Fifty is a guy who point. Fifty is a guy who still doesn't like Supreme. Still doesn't right. like still doesn't like Ja Rule. Twenty years later. Twenty years. Later. So it's like his life was on the line. Bro. You know, so it's like he's died. he's he's a guy who's less likely to to let go of a grudge. You'd hope he'd do it for his firstborn, but it's like. I remember one time he said, how long do you love someone that doesn't love you back? You know, and so, you know, I mean, Cuz is saying that it's about the relationship. Some folks are saying, you know, why didn't you just call him? Well, 50s in Europe. Right. But at the same time, it's like, you know, the antics is not, mm -hmm. you know, going to, if it's really about, like, I'll pay to have him sit Correct. down. Like, so, if it's really about that, then and to your point, there should be a better really, way. And, and to, the, then to speak to your point, if... Looking in the son's view, if it's really about mending that relationship, why am I going about it in that way? Yeah. Right. You get what I'm saying? So, going about it in that way is not going to be beneficial to the whole situation. I got right? another question, too. Like, how old was he when they, uh, when he took that picture with Supreme? Like, was he like... This was junior? recent. Like, this... That was a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, this is not like... Dude, this is about three, three, four years ago, at yeah. most. He, like, he, he knew what he was doing. Saying, at that age, like, I can understand if you were a little bit younger, like, you might have been, like, some... No, right, saying, like, and not really having. Yeah, you knew, you knew what you were like, doing. Yeah, you knew was that was like, Supreme's actually, son. Like once he passed, it away, was knowledgeable for him to like, be. You, you knew that was Supreme. Know. You knew that was Supreme's son, and you knew that would make headlines, and you you knew you knew what you were doing. And I was right. like, you're sending a clear message at that point. It's like, oh, okay, correct, cool. Say, it's, it's no question what that message going to. Like, yeah, correct. That, that right there. Is something I just I just feel and hope like we all like they. They they hash that situation because at the end of the day, man, they, that's his, that's his father, that's son. You feel me? But you know, I, like we both, like we all stated, it's 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 a tough situation. You, you can't be twenty five years old so talk about child support. Yeah, and that's that's kind of weird. That, like, that fifties response was hilarious. That that um when he was trolling the back, that was funny. He yeah, said, but, so, yeah, this nigga's crazy. Twenty five <laughs> years yeah. old. Why are you still yeah. talking about child support? Yeah. Yo, and you know he gonna be yeah, and that's why I'm, I'm like, like, why get him started? Like, 50 is the worst person to be for, bro. That yeah, man you don't is the petty no, king. For real. You're not letting that shit go, and, bro. And, and that being said, and then it, and how <laughs> how great he is in all these other spaces. So it's just like, bro. Niggas came out there, he said, yo, Fit, you think I can get an extra six, six or seven hundred a month? Look, for the way I would do, he said, y'all yeah, niggas play too much, man. Like, what's up with you? Sheesh, he ain't lying, bro. He ain't lying. But moving forward, moving forward, new house party, man. Executive produced by LeBron, man. Hey. First question I want to ask, man, what is y'all favorite house party, man? They they in the house party series, man. What is y'all favorite house party? It's, movie? It's, I, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with one. I gotta go. I gotta go with one, bro. I gotta go with one. That's the most classic. I ain't gonna lie. Two is a close. I don't know two, but house party one, bro. Like nah, son. Chris, he, he Chris know I really, used to come with the fade, bro, yeah. because of the movie. I watch house party. Every Chris, day. when you really like, when you get older. And there's a couple other things like shows and shows. When you get older, you really realize like how trash people were. Chris was really a horrible friend. Now that I'm older, oh yeah, he was a terrible right. friend. 
It's a couple out there where, like, when I got older and rewatched Foster's Home, I was like, yo, Blue was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, why did I like him as a kid? I got, I was like, yo, this dude was horrible. Bro. Yo, he I'm pulled sorry. up to, he pulled up to the crib. Balao, bro. With mad chicks in the car. Knowing Balao got a, like, Bilal, they threw all, all his stuff in the shit, joint. Bro. Then he left them there. Like, yo. He was a horrible friend. Bro. He was a horrible, horrible friend. friend bro. And it, and it was crazy because back then, like them, it was like we call the trolling, but now, but that's what their that's what their brotherhood was. Yeah. Like, Not to mention what he did you know number what two. Like, oh my god, right, exactly. Uh, no, nah, what Cuz kept hitting can't, the can't um, play. You talking about play? What Cuz kept hitting the table while Malala was trying to DJ. <laughs> He's like, a place look like a dance to it. I won't hit it. Nah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. We didn't. We didn't throw hands because you kept because you kept hitting my table and I'm trying to DJ. Legendary. Like you know you hit my table. And then, and, and you then, blaming me? Then, then all the then all the brothers who used to harass kid, bro. That joke, bro. Them jokes, on, I used, I couldn't stand. But now Martin, bro, that bro, don't understand how funny this movie is, bro, from top to bottom. And then the stars in it. When you see, go look back on House Party. It's stars, bro. To Gina, to to what's it called? Martin, of course, kid and play. But to the father, what's his name? The father, um, the comedian. Yeah, I forgot. But his everybody name. was in that movie. Everybody was in that movie, bro. That's legendary, bro. But. The other question I got, should they still make the house party? You know what I'm saying? I think this might be dope, but what y'all think? I mean, I feel like if it's produced by LeBron, it could go either way. They might either try, like, to, like, over-censor it, or they might just, like, let them go wild, do what mm-hmm. they want. So, I mean, I feel like it could be a good project because a lot of times with remakes, they haven't really, like, been too far off the spectrum, but mm-hmm. I feel like within within this alone, like, it's not, uh, it's, I feel like it would be a hard movie to fuck up, like, they would have to do a lot of outlandish shit to fuck this movie up with their remake. Yeah. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Because oh, we'll, I'm tired of remakes, but yeah, I want to this, this, see this. And bro. with this overly sensitive sensitive world today, I don't know what I don't know how how far they can go with it. But the, I don't know. The remake the remake is I love nostalgia too and I'm glad nostalgia is the thing. But the remake game ain't just been good. They redid yeah, how high lie, trash. Bro, lie. They redid. <laughs> <laughs> they hey, they try to they try to redo white man can't jump. I have oh, zero no, faith in this movie. I have that zero movie, faith. Bro. Don't touch that. Movie. They redid Space Jam. It wasn't yeah, for me. It yeah, wasn't I, bad, I, but wasn't for me. Like I didn't like, need that. I I, yeah, listen, they, they, no, listen. Now I it will say the remake, the Digimonji remakes have been good. They're not better than the original, but they have not been bad. They have been. I I enjoy the Jumanji. I, I will say that. I guess they've been up to par. They've been up to par. Yeah, it's, but the mother, these other joints is like, eh. It's too many remakes, bro. I ain't There's a new it. step up. There's a new honey. I'm like, out this. Yes, yeah, it's like three. I'm actually. I'm like, bro. So from the stop it. We, we, bro, it's like step up. Stop it. Right now. Stop. <laughs> Cut it out, bro. Yeah, they got step soon. And step up was only good after the. Oh, it was one and, the was good. Good. one and two were the only good. One and two were the only good ones. We didn't need yeah. We didn't need more after that. After that. Like after two, we were good. Like we were straight. Nah, like, I think directly the line like want to stop being a dead horse in movies, like, bro. Like facts, facts. And we was just having this argument about. Creed 3. We was kind of talking about it. Like, mm. I don't like Michael B. Jordan. Like, fans. I'm going to no, no, see no, it. No, but I'm, I don't need another Creed. I'm going to see Creed, it, but like. I don't think we need it. But I'm going to see it. So, like, I'm going to support it. And too. I'll support him and, because and, it's his direction. He's directing. You know what I'm saying? And, it's his and, and, the Rocky debut. franchise is legendary. I'm just saying, like, with the remakes and different stuff out here, like, you know, it's kind of like. Yeah. Yeah, like, I didn't need. I don't like. I I dad going to show the knee belly, too. I didn't need belly, too. Oh yeah, for I sure. Belly too. <laughs> I never. I didn't, I didn't need that. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it at all. Edge with double aluminum. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I was like, bro, I'm double not, aluminum. I didn't watch it. I was like, why would I want to watch it? I didn't need stop the R two. Right. Oh, bro, I, don't I didn't know. watch that either. I don't even know what that is. Really? That came out like a couple years after the first one. Nah. That came nah, out nah, like two. That came out like a couple years after the first one. It was called Homecoming. I'm good. Leave them alone. Yeah, I was like, us. Like if they did make a sequel to any movie, like you gotta have a sequel to any movie in time. Like, what movie would y'all pick to have a sequel to? This Christmas. That's that's not a bad one. If it, if, if if it, it has, has the original has, cast, yeah. The, if it has the original Christmas. cast, this Christmas. Dang, I don't know. That's. I would love to see a this Christmas too. Just like they did Best Man Holiday, like years later with the same cast, and it was really good. That's I would love old. to see this Christmas. Inception. Too. Inception was my goal. Really? Inception, you want more confusion? Bro. Inception, bro. <laughs> yes, confusion. It was confusion, bro. You want it more was. confusion? But that was a fine movie, bro. It definitely that was, was a fine movie, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, from the cast until all yeah, the like, like the... That had... Bro, yeah, I mean, Chris, Tom, no, Chris Tom, is that dude. Tom Hardy, Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. Who else they had? They, uh, what, what's, the, what's the black girl name? 
Uh, Zoe, but you know I'm talking Zoe about. Zoe Kravitz? Uh, Salat, I forgot her name. The one playing Colombiana, I think. Oh, Zoe Solana. Yeah, I think so. she played in that. But Or or Take Us 2, actually, speaking of her. Take Us 2. Take Us 2. Take Us was my yeah, um, Off the top of my brain, I'm going this Christmas. That's a good one. Though. It was if it has the original because a lot the of times when they do a lot of time when they do remakes they they, they it becomes low budget whole different cast mm-hmm. straight to DVD type stuff and that's why it's not good. But it's like if you're gonna take the time to make the sequel with the original cast directors and like put the same amount of money and budget and effort into it, then yeah, I can see it being good. So if it's the same cast, which everybody is still around, like. I guess I would I would love to see it this Christmas too, because mm-hmm. the the perspective of that movie was dope. No, it wasn't it was just dope, Christmas. Yeah. It was like the it was all behind. based off secrets. Like mm-hmm. everyone in the family besides like Mel mm-hmm. had a secret. Like Baby wanted to sing, mm-hmm. um, and they had a good storyline. What's his point? face? What's his face? Owed somebody money. Right. Medea was living with Joe. Up, yep. Kelly, I mean, um, was, was Kelly was was sleeping with somebody, and um, her older sister was being cheated. Like everybody had a secret. And it was slowly like starting to unravel, and so like they had to really come. Oh yeah, Claw was married, freaking. So like, if you keep that same concept again, but like like switch it up differently fire. this time, that would be fire. Like yeah, I feel like you don't want to. This, this Christmas, I feel like they had a great character development, which like that that helps set the whole plot and story, right. make everything yeah. smooth so smoothly. Right. Right. And everybody's a little like older now. Like obviously, like when they first did it, you know, um, Chris's character, he was like a senior in high school, yeah. and he wanted to be a senior now. You can you can segue into him coming back. He's he done did what all other Medea sons did. They went off toward the music. Then come he finally comes back home. He's a feel he's an adult. He's in his career. Like, there's so many different ways you could do it. Like if you if you really if you had the original cast, you could do that again. Oh yeah. That's almost fire. For sure. I feel like this movie it could go either way with like with the sequel, mm-hmm. but I'd say the longest yard. Just like, oh, yeah, nah, it'll be like that'd be a funny ass. Long long I don't know how they would do it, but I, I feel like, like they, they do have original, but that was fit, far along. That one with Adam Sandler, bro, top timeless. Three. That was far, bro. That's a that's, 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 that's a top, that's a top three football movie, nah, or sports movie. I don't like, care, sport, like, especially it's just funny, yeah, right? yeah, and it was real. Yeah, the longest yeah. yard, like, that's that's one of those you watch, like, on yeah, the deep on the on the tour, on the bus. That man went in that cell and blew up out, so sad, like, yeah, they killed my nigga. Yeah. Facts. That's one of the joints you put on the DVD player on the bus on the way to a uh, away game. We <laughs> done that a couple times. <laughs> no, I'm serious. We did that a couple times. You thought that's going on, why? But you got like For a, like a like five hour five bus ride to beat to Vermont. You be like, all right, uh-huh. put the longest yard all on the, the way, way back. back. Like, you can't yeah. go wrong. Subscribe is QA. Let's get into it, fellas. I want to know this one. All right. If you could know the absolute and total truth, all right, to one question, what would you really ask, bro? He already think he knows what I'm about to ask, but I'm I'm gonna kind of say it, bro. What they, what they got in Antarctica? Why can't we go? You can't go to Antarctica, bro. Why can't we go to Antarctica? See, this is some people don't really know. <laughs> we can't go to Antarctica. Oh, people don't really know. You is can't it, go is, to Antarctica. Is it, we can't go, or is it it's inhabitable because it's like so cold? It, the both. Like okay, both. That's my question. I didn't know that. Antarctica. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave not, it at that. I, did not I ain't know. Gonna, I, ain't gonna, I just didn't I think anyone wants to go to Antarctica. I got, got <laughs> like, people looking at my page, be like, all signs. No, I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. What's I didn't thing? think anyone would want to go to Antarctica. Like, what you got? What's, what's that? Because like, why would you want to go to Antarctica? Like, why would like? Why would I want to go to Antarctica? Just going. You're saying what's in it? It's a lot. It's it's a lot of variables there, and which Antarctica is cold. It's cold, cold. I feel like I said what's in it. Now we are how to live. What's there? Sure, I feel like they got some of the purest like wildlife and that sense though, cause like you Correct. got yeah. like uninhabited land that's just been like well, not nobody really touched land up there of mm-hmm. course, but like you got so much fresh land, you, you don't know what the fuck you gonna see out there, but you might see Bigfoot walking. You might not you even might see, see with all the snow going. You might, see, snow snow going you might see a you might see a portal to somewhere else, you. <laughs> Why do you want to see a portal? I'm not saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. What is no, my, what my no question? More. Go ahead. Know. What's your question? What does my woman want to eat? Bro, I'm done. No, I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> there's, there's really, you, you know that you know there's no answer to that. You know it. Answer to that, Hugh. That's a good one, bro. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, That's a good one. Yeah, you gonna have to go. I don't, I don't know what I want to know. I don't know who I have to ask this question to, uh-huh. but I need an answer. Why is my hairline receding? <laughs> who do I talk to to get help? Like, like nah, for real. Yeah. My, 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 my brother, my brother, 
he wore hats so he wore hats so much too. And like that's that's one of the questions that I I want to I want to Yeah, I'm fighting mine as we speak. Cuz I'm know. like, bro, that for real. Who do you talk to? Like I can't talk to my barber, he's going to get mad, but he like I ain't pushing back. I'm like, my bad, bro. I really know. I don't really know what question I want to know the absolute truth to. I really bro, don't that know. Worst, bro. That's the worst feeling. Somebody messed up your head on that boy. Boy, <laughs> yeah, we all here been through it once. I don't even care. We all been through it once, bro. I oh, nah, for real. Man, I have some days you can't go to school. Nah, nah, throw, for real. Throw that hat on. Throw that hat. And you, you want to know the worst feeling? Say if you're going out. Like, take the hat off. Like, no, I can't. <laughs> and then the worst feeling, say if you're going out somewhere, you got the hat on, no hats, bro. Bro, uh, take that. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the worst. No hats. Bro, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared for that, bro. Why? Yeah, I don't Why know, can't bro. we wear hats? Yeah, but I don't even lie, like. I feel like having a bad lineup and it's worse than one of my friends had happened. This nigga had his barber. I don't know what the fuck dude was on, but he had a patch in his head. I'm like, that, that shit was like a big patch too, bro. Like, it's like, if you see that drink from oh far away, God. it looks like, you, you gonna notice that shit if you see it from far away, bro. Right. You might think something like, like, damn. Hey, y'all, everybody about to be laughing free bag. Hey, look. <laughs> Room 108, bro. We was in college, bro. They was doing haircuts. Some of my friends, bro. Four or ten doing haircuts, bro. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Go, oh, my God, bro. Mess him with a zoom. Bro, the whole joke, he was like, son. This on camera, bro. Like, bro, I'm like, Room 108, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, somebody mess bro. And then another incident, bro. Shout out to my brothers, bro. But another incident. My boy hyping, my boy hyping one of my other boys up from a previous time. He got his, bro, he got his hairline jacked up. Because we used to have, like, school barbers. Because everybody wasn't trying to pay, you know, we had, yeah, man, college budget. So, he pushed him back, bro. He just, like, and one night he over here drunk. Whatever. He and my, one of my boys in his ear by his hairline on up. Bro, home, the dude coming from me over here. <laughs> Glass him, bro. I'm like, oh my god, bro. See, I wasn't messing with that. I went, uh, I went nah, to go see that, Omar. That, Omar over there, what's the? My dog, shout out to Omar, man. Oh no, nah, shout out to Harry for real. You for always got to see either a black. Boy, you got to see a black. You always have to see a black guy or or, or, Puerto, or, or Hispanic. Too. Shout out to Rico. But that's the guy I saw when I was in Massachusetts. Like, shout out to Omar. Um, but I don't know. What's my? I don't know what my question would be. Yeah, I don't know what my question would be. I had to think about it. I didn't really. Bro, that was a good question. What you mean? That was a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. What you want to eat? Shit, I got another funny ass question for y'all, bro. Do y'all trust bald barbers? <laughs> I have one, so yes. Yes, I have oh one. Oh God, bro. That's hilarious, bro. Yes. Cause I used to have I used to have a, a bald barber for the longest time. Shout out to Calvin, bro. Hey, I have know, one currently. I ain't never even think about it. That's the funniest part. Bro, like, it's funny because at this old shop we used to go to, this one bald nigga, bro, he would just be sitting there all no cuts. No, no cuts. No motion, no action, bro. Like, how you sit there all day? No, nobody walking your, like, nobody walking that chair, bro. bro. Like, not even one of your family members, not, not, oh not your cousin. God. Nobody walking in that room, <laughs> walking in that chair, bro. You just sitting there. Nah, ball bob is actually oh, crazy, man. but I even think about it. Bro. I ain't gonna. I, I, ain't I gonna have two. I got my guy Chris. Bobbers, he, be, he be giving me right. So yeah, shout out to Chris. He's a he's ball. He, oh my god, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's important. You yeah. know that's important. All right, lastly, guys, bring back minutes. fifteen dollar haircuts. Gosh, uh, for real, nah, you ain't lying. Let's Gosh. bring them back. Miss them days. Retweet. Gosh, <laughs> double tap. Retweet again. For real. All right, lastly, the infamous, the infamous guys. Would you rather? All right, would you rather have your debt? Forgiven, all right. I'm talking about all debt, all right. All debt that you got, forgiven, or have guaranteed good health for a decade. Uh, this is tough. This is tough, guys. I think I got my answer though. Give me good health, cause I can always work. I can always, you know, when my when my game takes off, I can clear my own debt. Okay. Okay. What you got? I want that debt forgiveness for hundred. Cause the reason I say that, I can focus on my health once I forget the debt, like. I feel like because you get your little gym membership ten dollars. Like yeah, but, but health, I want health, that debt forgiven. I'm right on this debt. You a bucket, bro? Give this, me that debt, bro. They didn't say great health, bro. They say good health. I'm like, look, get that debt away. Look here, that membership gonna be paid real easily. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go right and I already got this. But health encompasses right. other things and other than just you working correct. out. You can, catch, you can catch correct. a tumor or something. No, like, like, you're correct. I'm you're guaranteed you're to correct. not catch cancer or anything for a decade. Like, you're guaranteed for a decade. You ain't lying. And you know anything can happen. Uh, yeah, anytime. like you have no you have no control but, but, over but whether to, that happens to, or not. But to argue your point, anything can happen at any given time. That doesn't matter if you good health, bad health. It's not like the dead belief is happening. So you know the inevitable can be there. I'm just letting you know. That. that debt stay forever. That debt stay on your kids, kids, kids. If you don't pay it, I'm gonna let Listen. you know. I'm gonna let you know that right now. Listen, they working on debt relief as we speak. You know what I'm saying? For real. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> debt forgive it. Listen, when my game, buying, when, my, when, when my game takes off, we gonna we gonna we gonna, we gonna clear these student loans. Buying the gym. Like, bro, nah. When, my, when, when this game take off, we gonna we gonna buy the gym. We gonna buy the um. We gonna we gonna clear the, the student loan debt, so we gonna. Oh yeah, that's all facts. Right. We are game. Should make sure y'all support, man. We gonna we gonna be all right. You already know, man. With my brother right here, man. Another great episode, man. Look to see him more. And you already know my co-host, my brother Hugh. We in the building. Hey, we. Hey, we are Game Shift and at the Face on View podcast, man. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Much love, guys. See you Thursday, five p.m. Eastern.